Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to continue with notifications. Um, this one, let's just create a notification company. So let's go here to front end. It's always component, and we're gonna place the uh, notification company here in a layout. So let's create a new file. Let's call it notification or notifications. Let's put JS notifications here. So as always, RCFE to create our React function and support company. And um, so the plan is we're going to have a, basically we're going to have like a new window. And here we're gonna have a section in a car. You can also create a drop down if you want here to like most like websites. But also most websites when you click on the like view all it will take you to a different page where you have like all the um notifications so i just decided like do it this way it won't hurt like having it here too and uh you can e easily do it just basically render the notification here in the, in the own page so okay let's just let's just start by this tip that's gonna have it as a section basically. Right, just like that. And here when I have a car, class name R, here class name section. Oops. Yeah, just like that. Um close our oops let's close our dip here and let's just move this uh, to the left kind of like that so we have more space okay so here when I have a car in inside the car have a last name or content okay and it's inside car car content on the right we're gonna have a like a x button so we can like exit the kind of like exit the page class name and uh, let's put label Right. Why is this not okay? Yeah, what's wrong with this? Okay. So level right and as I said when I have a button. So class name delete and that's it. Um that'll be for the level right and then we're gonna have a uh, content here so deep class name content and here when I have the kind of like the article media and stuff like that so let's just go to um main chat let me see um kind of like this let's just copy this one right Let's copy this one, paste it here. Content. Um, so after content, let's put a H1 class name title. And let's put notifications. Plus H1. That'll be notification. And then here we're gonna have like all the notifications basically. Just article process here. Just dividing, okay? So class uh, media, and then here we're gonna have a picture, and basically it will be the the user picture. And um, let's just leave this one empty for now because we don't have the picture. And then here we're gonna have a content. And basically the um, the invitation and all of that. Um, 
So media content, and we don't need this. Um, let me see. Okay, delete this one and these two. So instead of media, right? Um, check media content. Is instead of media, right? When I have um, kind of um, like a group of buttons. So let's put class name buttons and we're gonna have two buttons just copy paste it here let's delete this let's delete this id okay um class name let's put button is success just to put to set the color to green and in here button is dang, danger to make it like red okay okay let's save that um let's put a username here okay. we don't have date so let's just put date just in case and let's put here in by the in are you to the server and then here we can put uh, another thing but just delete it okay and let's move it like that let's say for now let's just have it like that way and see how it how it will look okay so we got that so now we can go to app here and in here we're gonna import our company that we just create, right? Um, we can set it down here if you want. Import notifications. Run components slash layout. Um, or we can just do it like this. We don't have to go that far. Layout slash um notification very simple okay so now we're going to create a new route to take us to the notification so I'll just copy this one paste it down here the path will be notifications and the company notifications okay we close that now we can open our notifications and in here um we can use we can import let's import um use story right we're gonna use a story from router react router done okay we're gonna close that and in here into our function let's create it let hit security be equals to use a story we're gonna use story here um just like that and now we can um in this button that we have here the delete button we're gonna have a function that will take us to basically the home page so let's create on click And in here, it's going to have a basic function like that. And now we can put history, simple history, dot push, remember? And we can just take us to the home page, just like that. Um, very simple. Now we can save that. Um, and yeah, that's it. So now in home, we can go to uh let's check um here and remember this is um no sorry let's go to layout server okay so yeah in server um let's go down here
Let me check. Um, sorry, header. Yeah, because the, the notification is in the header. So um, in header, um, we, we, we're going to basically do the same thing that we need notification. So here, notification, this is the um, button, right? So here, let's do it on click. Here, in here, we just call history dot push push, and just basically takes the user to notifications. Yeah, just like that. Um, and we can close, save that, save, and now let's run the npm run dev. Let's see if it doesn't crash. Okay. So now let's refresh with Control F5 and let's see if it takes up the notifications. And this is the notification page. And of course, um, the button is it's no loading properly though. Um, let's close that. Um, running source components layout notifications oh that's the problem we have yeah we have an hypo issue here okay save that run again notification and yeah pretty much so we're gonna have a of course we're gonna have a picture here but we're gonna have um basically that will be notifications and a set and reject or whatever and we're going to do that in the next video um thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one